Hi friends, this video is continuation to my earlier video where I have created Azure VM instance and also I showed how to access that particular VM instance remotely. So in this video, we are going to configure IIS on the Azure VM instance. Let us go to overview and copy the IP address and see what happens when you try it on the browser. It will throw you an error as we still did not configure our IS on Azure VM. Let us uh, go back and we will come back to here. Let us go back to our remote desktop and go to the start. Click on server manager. I'm just trying to configure IS by going to the server manager. Click on add roles and features. Just click next. So what do you want? Role based uh, or feature based installation or remote desktop. So definitely I need a role feature based installation. So click on next. Click on next. Here, see where the IS web server IS is here. Just select that. Add features. Click on next. So you can select the framework required for your deployment. If you are still using the old .NET framework, you can go ahead to .NET framework 3.4 installation, 4.5 installation, or you can select the required one. So under the WCF services, you can activate your HTTP. And if you want anything else, you can activate like messages in queue if you require TCP activation, anything you can just uh, add them and see if any other features required for your IS installation. For me, it is all SMTP, all this are not required, but if your application needs something, uh, some of these features, definitely go ahead and uh, select those features. I'm just trying, I'm checking once again. Okay, let me proceed with the next one. Web server roles. Here you can select HTTP redirection. You can read the, the complete information like why you, you need all those. If you need any custom logging, logging tools, ODBC, you can just enable them. For me, now it is not required, but if you're setting up the full fledged server, definitely you will need uh, certain things from the list. Uh, definitely to diagnose the problem deeply you will need different type of logging mechanisms so you can select that and while scrolling if you need ftp server enablement yes you can do this but i don't need it now uh, if you are still using the old uh, is version where your code is compatible with then you can select uh, this one else you can go with the is management console let me go next install So it will it will definitely take a few minutes until that I'll pass. So after a few minutes, you can see the feature installation completed, and then you can close it. Before uh, we install this uh, IS, it, this option was not available, but now it exists. Right? Click on that. So definitely you are getting a warning for the close previous IP. So click on the tools and you can see internet uh, internet information service IS manager here. Get into the IS and then here you can see your for my VM host. This is a server I created. So now let us see the default website. Right click on it. Just click on the browse. As the memory is too low, uh, that's taking too much time, but let us wait. So 
So here you can see the local host. Local host. This is a page uh, it got. And uh, let me access the same thing from outside. You can see that page configured. So this is how you can configure. You can also deploy your code to the Windows uh, 2016 uh, server onto the IES and then you can access that particular pages. Thanks for watching my video.